For several years, the press had been wanting me to write a guidebook about Arizona, and I've never written a guidebook. Wasn't too interested in writing a guidebook. So then I had this idea, and I thought, why not try to do it in a year and turn it into an adventure story? What was it, 52 weeks, 52 destinations? 52 weeks, 52 destinations. How many miles? 20,000 miles. 20,000 miles. And this is the Kia Rio I did it in. I'm Ken Lamerton. I wrote Chasing Arizona. I started working out kind of a list, 52 destinations. Where, what, where, where should I go? Should I go back to places I'm really familiar with? Or should I try something just completely new? If I'm bringing my wife, who's another foil in the book, she likes the B&Bs, you know, she likes the nice restaurants. But, you know, Jerry will eat peanut butter burritos <laughs> on the side of a ditch, you know, with a, in a campfire, drinking rum. Um, when I put Tombstone on the list, I thought it would be really nice to have somebody that was Tombstone show me around. Looks just like it did then, like it does now. This is the same bar. You look up and you see the A same friend of mine who appears in the book, Jerry Marzinski, told me that, that he knew one of these tombstone vigilantes, this man, Art Weisberger. The other purpose of a hat is to feed and water your horse. A historian, he's an actor, um, he's, a, he's a federal firearms dealer. I mean, I really hit it good with Art. You're taking your uh, family, let's say, to town to go to church. You would carry something like this to repel borders. And he went on and on talking about how Wyatt Earp was nothing but a pimp. He's a pimp, a gambler, and a saloon keeper. Yeah. And you know, just breaking down all the, all the mythology that Hollywood has given us over the years about who Wyatt Earp was, you know. That's, that's just movie cartoon stuff, like in a movie Tombstone. The director dresses all the good guys in black and all the bad guys with a red sash. I mean, are we so dumb we can't tell who's the good guy and which are the bad guy? Yeah. Well, the history is there. You just have to look beneath the myth a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I was also fascinated in the myth itself. You know, Billy Clanton, Tom McLowry, Frank McLowry, murdered in the streets of Tombstone. I'm like, murdered in the streets of Tombstone? You know, I thought they were the bad guys. Why it was always uh, into self-aggrandizement. Right. And then in other places I traveled to, too. I was always trying to find the locals and looking to see what they said that was not in the books, not in the history books. You know, people ask me, what was your favorite destination? I say, it's like choosing which is my favorite child. I, I would hope that, that people would enjoy the experience with the book and then want to get out there and have their own experience. Wyatt did not have a gun belt. He wore a jacket. Meet people, talk to people as you go along. I've been traveling around in Arizona you know, most of my life and never really stopped to talk to the people, you know, and that's what I, that was the point I made in this book. I was going to get out and I was going to talk to people and just hear their stories, you know, and then write them down furiously. So this is a book that you can, you can read and see what is really amazing about this place that we live.